Um, guys, look, this is her final performance on Norway's Got Talent. This was the performance that obviously won her the show. I think she was the youngest contestant on Norway's Got Talent to ever win um, a talent show. So this was, she's making history here, guys. But guys, look, as always, Angelina's links will be down in the description below. And if you're enjoying this, this journey so far, don't forget to like. And like I said, the playlist to all these episodes will be in, in the description. And I'll, be, I'll pin it at the top of the comments so you guys can go and follow along if you're catching up slowly. But um, yeah, guys, that being said, let's get straight into the video. Let's go. Den første deltageren som ble klar for finalen. Men nå er ventetiden endelig over for åtteåringen, som kaller seg en helt vanlig jente. Men til å være en helt vanlig jente, så vil jeg i alle fall si at hun har etterlatt seg et helt uvanlig inntrykk så langt i norske talenter. She's saying she made an extraordinary impression, even though she's trying to say, I don't even want people to know as an ordinary girl. Well, this girl is giving an extraordinary impression. Well said, well said. Vanlig inntrykk så langt i norske talenter. Foran oss her, folkens, så har vi en stjerne. Egentlig så er jeg en vanlig jente. Du er jo musikk. You are music, wow. Det skjer jo veldig mye med intervjuer og sånn. Det var en gammel dame, og så sa hun at jeg ble rørt. Og så sa jeg at det var ikke meningen. Da klemte hun meg. Dette er starten på noe som er veldig, veldig spennende i ditt liv. Dette har vært en reise. Angelina, jeg tror at jeg kan si at jeg elsker deg. I mitt hjerte har du allerede vinning. Jeg elsker å synge. Og det skal jeg vise dere i kveld. How is this girl only eight? Like, she's she's just got this aura about her that it's just... The only way to describe it as it's like, it's God sent. For her to be so young doing what she's doing, but let's get around to this performance, man. Crazy. Summertime. What the? <laughs> No, no, I didn't even think I'm just getting started, man. Like, I'm thinking I'm getting a nice introduction and then Angelina's coming with this final performance. Guys, like, I, I think this is... The the way she... The, what she's doing by, you know, all, like, giving you that, um... <clears throat> almost that. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh... It's like she's been able to just just control her voice in a in a wavy kind of way. It's the word I'm looking for. It's like um, it's like she's giving that turbulence to her voice. So naturally, like if I'm pretty convinced, if I was to close my eyes and you used to tell me how old do you think this person that's singing in front of you is, I'd think I'd say something like twenty seven, six, five, four, three, two, something in that range. 
But this is an eight year old singing like this. How? How? This is what? This is crazy. And your mom is good looking. Oh my god, you guys weren't playing about, man. This is incredible. Omer, klarer du å snakke? Hva skal man si? Det er som et eventyr å sitte her og se på deg, Angelina. Jeg drømmer meg helt bort, og jeg vil bare si tusen takk for det du gir oss. Du er en gave for norske talenter. Wow, og your gift to know is what talent. That's, hey. I'm sure she is. Bjarte. Hey, anyway, if so, what I'm seeing this, this every time this judge reacts, Angelina, he's always balling. Like he's always coming up and says, "Look at him in a suit, tuxedo, looking like he's looking suave." But this, I think that judge himself, he's he and Angelina always gets him. This this third job is just in awe. All of them are in awe, but that fourth judge always just it gets the she gets the the waterworks out. <laughs> he's kept it together for this one. Det hjelper liksom ikke, Angelina, hvor mange ganger du sier «Don't you cry». For Clara bare ikke la være. That's what I'm saying, this brother can't control it. For Gud vet jeg hadde lovet meg selv at jeg skulle prøve. Men du treffer noe inn i meg når du synger. Og du treffer noe inn i veldig mange når du synger. Ja, det er så true. Og jeg sitter og tenker på at om ti år, så er du 18 år. Jeg synes det er helt ufattelig. Jeg vet ikke hva mer jeg skal si, Angelina, men... Du synger så utrolig fint. Det er så beautiful, man. Lisa. Wow. Det er ikke... Så veldig ofte at jeg blir rørt på den måten som jeg blir når du sykker. Og i dag var det grining på høyt nivå fra meg. Og det var tårer av lykke over at det finnes et menneske som synger så vakt. For meg er det nesten litt sånn at det er helt sånn utenomjordisk. Jeg tenker jo at... Folk må jo stemme på dette her. Dette her er jo helt... Jeg har aldri opplevd lignende. Jeg har aldri opplevd lignende. Wow. Det er viewers have to vote for you. Wow. Du har fått en gedigen gave som viser seg hos deg som er så utrolig ung. Du har fått en mulighet til å formidle noe til mennesket. Og det er gjerne en stor oppgave for en åttaåring. Men den har du fått. Og den er rett og slett litt sjelden, for det at i dag er det ikke så mange som klarer å formidle. De synger, og det er veldig mange som synger bra. Men det som er din styrke, det er at du har en helt unik formidlingsevne. Det skal du ta vare på. Det skal du vite inni deg at faktisk det er stort. For det at det er en gave fra universet. Og du er en... It's a gift from God, it's a gift from God, okay? Not the universe, gift from God. But regardless, right, like, everyone's saying it here, man. Like, this girl has an, a, such a unique, rare gift that it's, it's so, like, no one can fathom how this is an eight-year-old, how she can sing so beautifully, and everyone can see it. Like, this girl is really, like, we're witnessing history right now. This At this point in time, when she was on this Noise Got Talent, like, everyone was witnessing history in the making. Oh, my God. 
Når det er sagt, så må vi si det at husk på det. Du har ikke noe ansvar i å levere noe til folk for det du leverer allerede her. Det er en gave til oss som får lov til å sitte og høre på. Det ligger ikke noe ansvar i det. Ikke tenk, bare syng. Angelina, hvordan har det vært å være med norske talenter og få sånne tilbakemeldinger? Det er helt fantastisk å være med. Det kan jeg se. Og synes du at Angelina er like fantastisk som det dommerne synes? Da sender du en sms til betaler 9 til 26 400, eller så ringer du det nummeret som står på skjermen. Angelina! Det kan være både en fordel og en ulempe å ha vært med på norske talenter tidligere. Fordelen er jo at du vet hva det går til. Og ulempen er at du vet hva det går til. Oh, Lord, guys, 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 man. I'm actually speechless, as I always have been. I mean, you guys really have been saying that, you know, um, I'm not... <laughs> you guys are so excited for this journey because you, you keep saying, like, you're not ready. You're not ready for what's to come. Like, Angelina is... She's got... She's got a world of things for you to touch and you haven't even scratched the surface. And... It's crazy to think is it's already been a she's she's had her ten years of her of her life like properly documented, and so much has changed in that that time frame. But even that amount of um, you know documentation on your life is rare. But we get to see in real time just how Angelina Jordan grows up with this sort of um, this sort of popularity. I wonder if this is going to be something that affects her at any point in her career. Because obviously, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. This is me going in blind as I as I figure out. But um, to be so young and to have this sort of, um, you know, social popularity, this popularity, right? This, this everyone already is, is regards her in such a high esteem. That's going to come with a lot, man. And for an eight-year-old, um, that's probably going to be a lot to handle. But so far, like, even the judge is saying she's handling it well. Like, you'd think this would overwhelm a lot of children. And we see in a lot of cases where this is something that completely derails a child's whole um, upbringing. You know, getting this this much popularity at such a young age, this, this many eyeballs, this much attention, that can really affect someone. So, I'll be very interested to see how she continues during this journey and um, no, none of you guys better spoil it for me. But um, that's just a question that's in the back of my mind. How is she going to deal with all of this? Does it ever get to her? Three for four. But guys, look, if you made it to this point in the journey, we're going to comment down a yellow because she was singing Summertime. We got a comment down a yellow for Summer and she was making so many people smile and cry as well. Let me know if she made you cry as well because I'll be interested to know. And uh, just out of curiosity, do you remember where you were? where you first heard this final performance of Angelina and did you vote for her or did you vote for any of the other contestants? Guys, have you said I've been your boy J Flex has been Angelina Jordan on the final performance on Noise Got Talent singing Summertime in uh, by George Gershwin and you guys have made it this far. It's been absolutely wonderful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!